So Patrick, <laughs> do we do we describe this for everybody, Rob? What? Him. You what? describe it. You describe it. What? I do enough talking. Whatever. What? I think any car's dead in iRacing. I think it's gone. Oh, it's definitely. I, I agree. It's not going to survive. Probably. I still think we'll find opportunities to race it. Just not as fruitful as before. Some your like some of them just want to like make <laughs> what's the thing like that guy wanted to make like dolls out of Tyler's hair but then there's just other guys who oh are just like he did. he did he did he would say weird things to Tyler man like he was a strange guy and then like other guys would just show up and nobody's like oh, oh we it. never met you sure come race this 24 with us and then you just jump in the car and wreck us out in a lap and be like okay never see you again yeah He's that like, was okay the... well better luck next year I guess that was the the guy from. Hello and welcome into another installment of the XSLR here at Season 5 Round 10 from the World Center of Racing Daytona International Speedway Rally Cross Course as we continue our dirt road disciplined portion of the season. I am Daniel Hall joined in the booth by Stephen Finch with Jonathan Grabowski in our virtual production truck and we have an exciting one for you tonight. Uh, continuing the, the dirt road and getting out these Pro 2 light trucks again and just having some fun playing around in the dirt. So it uh, should be a good one for you tonight. Steven, as they get into qualifying here, uh, anything you're thinking about adding for this uh, this uh, race tonight? They should have just done it in the oval. <laughs> it would have been much greater to see these trucks going around the oval as fast as they could. That would be pretty exciting. That would, uh... Oh, that suspension travel. Yeah. I wonder how they draft up, but, uh... Yeah, that would be... Maybe, uh, get on Adam and, and do that in next week, but, uh... We can, uh, take a look at the points before we get too far into the... Pre into the qualifying laps, so... Josh Clogg still has a commanding lead. He's been just super consistent all season got a couple wins but always running in the top three getting those podiums and that's really helped him out Bobby Ross in second he's been consistent as well Adam Thompson getting his first win of the season he's up into third in points Jake Ham, Justin Barrera the other two in the top five so they're having pretty solid runs this season Tim Cox Jake Luther Kevin Irwin sixth seventh and eighth and then Jimmy Howitt in ninth that kind of rounds out your 
full season runners so far and then the rest of them there but uh starting to get lap times in there now adam thompson can con continuing his uh strong run on these dirt road courses uh looks like he put in a time about 1.3 seconds ahead of jake ham so uh, we're looking at jake right now he gets bumped down to second by josh clog 43.9 for josh pretty quick time as well so you mean 49.3 there is that what did i say you said 43.9 Oh, that that would have been very impressive. That would have been uh, <laughs> quite the lap from these uh, Pro Two lights. So, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's forty nine three from Josh Clark puts him up into second place behind Adam Thompson. Getting a look at Bobby Ross now as he takes the jump, and that's one thing that uh, the dirt roads kind of separated from uh, dirt oval or pavement road, but. We'll see what Josh Clug comes around with here. He set personal bests and quick times, and he is on the board in first, the 48.868, just about a tenth ahead of Adam Thompson. So quick lap there from Josh Clog. That's going to set him up really well for these heat races. It's going to set him up really well, and I want to see if Adam Thompson is going to be able to respond to that or not. Yeah, he's... Uh, on another lap as well but we're looking at tim cox he's coming around he's not set a lap yet so this will be his first time and these drivers will get two laps qualifying so tim's first laps of 52.7 he's going to want to hopefully have a little bit better lap time move up the board a little bit as he's currently sitting 10th on the left and there is uh adam no that's justin hall uh, maybe practicing for next year's uh, race on the oval in these things. <laughs> you know, I, I got to give a shout out to uh, Tim Cox there. You know, it's uh, what, 2 a.m., 1 or 2 a.m. where he's at. Yeah, across the pond. Uh, yeah. Getting some late, late night racing in for uh, this league. So we'll see him. He's coming through the last corner on his second lap and we'll see what he comes across the line with see if he improves a little bit looks like he does he runs a 51.932 that's gonna move him just in front of jimmy howitt uh, up into that ninth spot so uh, 30 seconds left in qualifying and i think that might do it looks like everybody's set their <laughs> times and got their two laps in except uh, maybe Adam, but that was him in pit lane. So looks like he's going to scrub the last lap of his qualifying, settle in with a P2. So uh, how do you think that uh, this qualifying set up the heat races? I think it set them, I, I think it set them up to be interesting races. You know, we got some, uh, we got some pretty big time gaps going on here. And uh, I'm wondering what that's going to be like uh, for, for these heats if we're going to see some of those times come down as some of these drivers get used to uh, the the track and the track settles in. Yep, as they take the grid for the first heat race, we got Josh Clogg and Kevin Irwin starting on that front row, and then Randall McGrew and Jimmy Howitt, three and four. So it looks like, oh, it looks like Randall McGrew is going to get on that front row. So we have a three wide start there. Uh, Jimmy Howitt's now on the grid, so we got all four lights have come up and countdown is beginning drivers revving their engines and they get the green and they're off and clean start through the tight gap there at the end of the, uh, the start straight uh, josh clogg still on the inside randall mcgrew is strong on the outside he might be able to hang with josh clogg here it looks like they're still going to go side by side through the dirt portion randall mcgrew tucks in behind him it's a good jump, but gets around uh, Kevin Irwin there for second place. So good start for Randall McGrew, improving from where he qualified. And uh, Josh Clogg is out front though, starting to pull away. No, that was a great clean start from all the all the drivers, and you know, 
keeping it clean through those first couple of corners is always the most important thing. And Josh Cog just got a monster of a start. You know, he just got away from the, the line cleanly. And he's already pulling away from the uh, the pack, you know, almost three seconds up. But yeah, look at these two, Kevin Irwin and uh, Randall McGrew. Uh, looks like someone's taking the Joker lane first. Nice yep, and early. Yep, it's, uh, Randall McGrew taking the Joker lane. That's uh, another aspect of these uh, dirt road races. That at some point during each race, they, be it the heat race or the consolation races of the feature, they will have to take the Joker lap. So. That's uh, oh. Randall McGrew taking an early bit. Some contact there between Jimmy Howitt and Kevin Irwin. Uh, looks like it's not going to mess them up too bad, but that just means they're going to lose more ground on the drivers in front. Yeah, no, and I, I was just, uh, as we saw him coming into the entrance into the infield there, we see uh, we see Kevin Irwin. He went way wide coming in there and left the door open for uh, Jimmy Howitt to come in and take that position. Yeah, this track can be hard to pass sometimes, but there are definitely opportunities, especially if your competitors make a mistake, as we see Jimmy Howitt now take the Joker lap. That's going to put him comfortably ahead of Kevin Irwin. But uh, Kevin will have that card left to play as we wind into the second half of this race. So Josh Clark still out front, holding on to a two and a half second gap over Randall McGrew. He's uh, not feeling much pressure right now with that wonderful profile picture <laughs> right yeah. you know he, he's still got we got two laps left two complete laps left to do this and he's still got to take that joker lane and the joker lane seems to be giving him uh, just like last week seems to be faster this this time around yeah that shorter joker lane kind of you can see it right there where it kind of cuts through the cuts that corner off a little early so that will give the drivers an advantage that's a way these drivers can pass and work some strategy this battle back here is really heating up very and jimmy howitt and kevin Irwin. they are they're going at it and i don't think they're gonna give an inch jimmy howitt goes a little sideways there it's kevin Irwin a chance but not able but now down this little short shoot kevin Irwin looks to the right side the outside there he's gonna have the inside lane as he goes into this tight hairpin oh some massive contact Jimmy Howitz. Oh, I wonder if They're that left going. any damage. Yeah, I don't know. These trucks are tough, but take too many of those shots and it can mess up your day. These guys are going side by side through this little S session there. They are uh, really going at it. Oh no, Jimmy Howitz goes wide. He hangs on to it. What a save. It looked like he was going around, but he just hung it out there and drifted all the way through that corner and even absorbed some little contact there by Kevin Irwin. That was uh, quite a maneuver. These guys still going out of there, nose to tail. Still got a, a decent gap up front. Josh Clogg, three and a half over Randall McGrew, so those guys aren't really racing, but this, this uh, run, the action in the back is really picking up. You know, I, I see that Kevin Irwin still hasn't taken the... Uh the joker lap either so i wonder if he's going to use that to his advantage yeah it looks like he might uh be waiting to play that card and uh, use that to kind of make an indefensible move the start finish line is the gantry you see right there that they go under before they head to the dirt section of this track so that uh that joker lap kind of puts you right out in uh just in front of that and can't don't really give any chance to uh oh as jimmy how it goes around that's gonna let kevin Irwin get by without even using his joker so he should have it well in hand josh clog though still out front still taking a commanding lead he'll have to take the joker lap here and he does gets in there nice and clean takes it easy he will go on to win heat race number one in this round of the XSLR. So, good run by him. Randall McGrew is going to take second. And we should see... Yep, there's the rest of the field. Kevin Irwin taking third, taking the Joker lap on his last lap. And Jimmy Howitt there taking fourth. So, that's going to end heat race number one as we get ready for heat race number two here. 
we'll have the grid if steven you want to take us through that yeah we got the a small three spot grid with this with adam thompson then bobby ross then gary uh, de Pereira. yep so a little bit of a, a smaller field for this one as opposed to heat race number one but uh three cars are going to start basically heads up as the lights come on and go off and they are rolling looks like a great start by bobby ross Jerry DiPiero hanging tough on there, but Adam Thompson's going to have the inside line down into turn one. He pushes out a little bit wide, lets Bobby Ross still be there, but Bobby now goes a little wide, so Adam Thompson taking over that first spot and using that to his advantage to take the lead into this infield section, so he will have the advantage over Bobby Ross and Jerry DiPiero. So we'll see if he can capitalize on that and get out to a big lead like Josh Clogg was able to do. But uh, Bobby Ross there's in second. Adam Thompson already has a 1.5 second lead over them. And you see Jerry DiPiero get up on two wheels a little bit. That's one thing these trucks, they have a lot of body roll because they have a lot of suspension travel. And in those tight hairpins, you can really upset the truck and get them up on two wheels. You, you know, I, I, I'm wondering, I was going to ask our production team, are we watching a replay of the last race? Because this looks awfully familiar with that gap. Yeah, the uh, the distant uh, the the speed differences between the top guys in this discipline are more pronounced than I think any other discipline on the service. It's it's just kind of it's it's weird to see, but it's it shows it goes to show how good some of these drivers are on these dirt road tracks, and it's uh, when you it, see it, one, yeah. it's really impressive to, to watch. You know, we get this good onboard and we can see how the kind of the lines forming in that dirt. We see, you know, I call that that shiny dirt that we see there where it uh, really forms. And we'll see it as we come around if we're still on board. Um, when we see Adam, when we see Adam uh, take that joker lane there, you know, it, it's about a two second buff in that joker lane. But as we come around onto this dirt, we see that nice shiny dirt that's where they want to be if they get outside that dirt oh he goes off the nice save though as you see that nice shiny dirt that's where all the grip is you get off that dirt you start losing time yeah as the track kind of develops a little bit more and those drivers will look to use that line to their advantage so adam thompson taking the joker the previous lap he's going to get a little bit more of a gap to bobby ross a little different strategy than we saw from the other leader in uh, josh clogg but uh, Adam looks like he's still going to have enough of a gap to hold off any moves that might come after Bobby takes the joker. Jerry DiPierre is out there kind of falling off a little bit. So uh, not a lot of side-by-side -side action, but uh, that'll certainly pick up as we move on later in this program because these heat races are just kind of taking you from qualifying, getting you seated into your your main events and that'll be when the action really heats up and we'll have all of the fast drivers going at each other so uh hang with us as we <laughs> work through to that yeah i mean we got some nice gaps going on here and you know uh bobby ross could break down that gap some but i don't know how much he would help you know yeah Adam, like he's... adam's just running just monster lap times yeah adam is just clicking them off he's uh picking up seconds of lap on uh, bobby ross there so. yeah just run the 48 9 yeah that is flying for this car and track combo so he's really being aggressive on that curve we saw that last week where drivers were taking some really aggressive lines trying to make up time it can pay off but it sure can bite you if it, if it goes wrong So Adam Thompson, he's going to come down the long straightaway that's not really a straightaway, it's uh, a section as it uses the infield portion of the Daytona road course. So that's kind of what you're looking at, at uh, the turn one through four of the Daytona road course into the horseshoe there. So Adam Adam's going to take the white flag here, so he's got one more lap to keep it together, not send it off the track looks like it almost does every lap but uh these drivers are pretty good and can 
keep it under control. So yeah. his his car control coming around this track is uh, is is a be beyond my ability, man. I can't drive these trucks like these guys do. It's yeah, these these guys are some really good drivers when it comes to these trucks and being able to use that weight transfer to their advantages. A huge advantage of learning that weight transfer. Yeah, I love driving them, but man, it is tough to be quick. So Adam Thompson is going to come around. He is going to get the checkered flag and take heat race number two. So he will start right next to Josh Clogg in that A feature. Bobby Ross going to come around and take second place. And Jerry DiPiero will round out the field in third. So... We got two heat races down, one to go. And we'll get our starting lineup for heat three. We got Jake Ham starting first on the inside, and then Justin Hall to his outside in second, and Tim Cox in third. And we have the winner of heat race number two, Adam Thompson. So, Adam, uh, congrats on taking the heat race win. How was the car out there? It was good. The track's starting to wear in. Be ready for... Uh... Now, let, let these guys start first. Hang on. All right. Yep. The uh, lights have come up. These drivers are revving their engines. They're ready to go. And lights are out. Good start. Oh, a little bit of door banging there with uh, Jake Ham and Tim Cox. They're going to send it into turn one. Tim Cox going to take the lead off of that. Uh, oh, no. Jake Ham battles back, uses the inside to his advantage. Oh, they're roughing up a little bit. Tim Cox gets the worst of that. Justin Hall's going to barrel his way through and take second. So, uh, Jake Ham, Justin Hall, and Tim Cox kind of settling into that running order. So, going back to Adam, though. <laughs> Go back to yeah, your, it's been, uh, a, been a pretty interesting race for you guys so far, huh? But no, it's uh, as the track wears in, guys, the trucks are going to get quicker and quicker. Um, this worn in dirt is. Oh my goodness! Wow, that was a big moment there, from Justin Hall. He uh, what was he got he a little thinking? too tight. Uh, yeah, it's almost like asphalt. Uh, this worn-in dirt. So uh, get ready for some interesting moves. Um, when the trucks start getting too sideways in the dirt, when it starts to wear in, uh, they just golly uh, continue to go sideways. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting race. But, guys, I'm going to let you get back to it because uh, you guys have some pretty interesting commentating to do here. Yep. All right. Thanks, Adam, and uh, good luck in your feature. Thanks, so, guys. Yeah, we saw some uh, some beating and banging. And Tim Cox and Justin Hall really going at it for this, uh, this third heat race. They are beating and banging. That's a lot of Jake Hamden kind of pull away. He's got a three-second gap over these two in second and third so he's uh looking to have some smooth sailing and kind of pull away like we've seen in the other two heat races so he's uh liking what he's seeing in his rear mirror isn't he Steven? no this is some really good racing and i'm wondering you know mr jake ham here just kind of running away from it we see i wonder what the the main's going to be like with the uh, jake ham uh josh clog and uh adam going at it yeah, it looks like those three are all really fast. They could, they look like they're all going to be competing for that win. And maybe that second group's going to be pretty good too. We're seeing some good racing kind of outside the, the first place in these heat races. So uh, looks like we might have a a good battle at the front and kind of at the mid pack. So that'll well, be looks, interesting to see. Looks like we're going to have a good uh, a good main tonight. And uh, a good, interesting all-around battles, and it's look, looking like it's going to be for some fun, uh, good racing. Yeah, for sure. Looks like Tim Cox taking the Joker lap. Yep, he's going to come out and not clear Justin Hall. So that's going to be unfortunate for him. I think he was planning on that just to get some track position in front of Justin. Uh, unfortunately, not close enough to be able to capitalize on that joker lap so he's going to settle into third the only one to have taken the joker so both uh, first and second are going to pull farther away but uh yeah we'll see them come through and we're uh, on lap four so just after halfway in this heat race so we'll uh 
Let's see what the strategy calls for by uh, Justin Hall and Jake Ham. Um, you know, Tim Cock, you know, we just saw Jay Hall going in and uh, taking the Joker like there, but uh, Tim Cox is getting real inventive with his lines. We see if we saw how how far he was trying to take that cut in on that straight and try to straight line some of these corners as much as possible. Yeah, and I wonder how risky that is in terms of taking a penalty. These tracks definitely have slowdowns if you try to take too much of a straight line through there. And even through the uh, the Joker lap, I think you can get a slowdown if you cut the entry or exit too close. So that's one of the things these drivers are going to want to avoid is getting a slowdown because the time you make up when you get the slowdown is definitely, it definitely penalizes you more uh, time-wise. We all Which, know half a second in eye racing time is really like 30 minutes. Yeah, and trying to serve that, it just feels like it takes sure. forever. So uh, that's, that is only something these drivers are going to want to avoid is the intensity level ratchets up in these main events. But uh, white flag is out. Jake Ham still with a comfortable lead, about three seconds over Justin Hall. Although he just went a little sideways, that's gonna kill his momentum a little bit. That's gonna allow Justin Hall to slowly creep in. I and you know, know Jay, Jay Hall did that. just set, set the fastest lap of the race last uh, last lap. Yeah, he took his his best lap of the race, so that's gonna give him some momentum. But he's gonna have about one more corner, one more real corner to do it here. Uh, but I think Jay Cam's just going to be a little bit too far out in front for Justin Hall to make a move. But, man, he is sending it. He tried to carry as much speed into that corner as possible. Uh, didn't, wasn't able to use it, though, and that's going to allow Jay Cam to take heat race number three. So that's going to... Oh, oh. <laughs> he stops right on the top of the hill, and uh, Justin Hall will get a fresh car and be ready for his, uh, his main... Looks like we have a B main tonight, so this is everybody that didn't win their heat race. So, Randall McGrew starting first, Bobby Ross in second, Justin Hall third, Kevin Irwin, Jerry DiPiero, and Tim Cox fourth through sixth in that second row, and Jimmy Howitt making up that third row in the lone car in seventh place. So, as we see the drivers jump onto the grid here, we'll... Uh, Looks like they're still waiting on maybe one more. Yep, so they get a little bit of a, a time gap there between the races, just make everyone load in. So Tim Cox, last one on the grid, but he is there now. Lights have come up and we are waiting. Drivers are revving. They're getting ready to go. And there they go. They're off. Looks like a little bit of a slow start by Kevin Irwin, but clean from everybody else but they're gonna go three wide <laughs> Randall McGrew Bobby Ross and just <laughs> Justin Hall side by side Tim Cox gonna be the beneficiary of that he stuck to the inside he's gonna go from fourth to maybe second a little door bang in there with Bobby Ross but he's gonna get pushed to the side oh he's sideways over the jump wow I don't know if they're done wrecking yet uh okay they, <laughs> they got through relatively unscathed that's gonna but Randall McGrew up front, Bobby Ross in second, Tim Cox up three positions off of the start into third. Kevin Irwin, Jimmy Howitt, and Justin Hall is going to have some work to do. Oh, no, Whoa. Tim Cox spins it out. He's going to wind up turn turtle on his roof. That's not going to be good. He's going to have to tow back to the pits. He's, uh, he's not going to be able to get unstuck himself, so... He's going to have to take the long toe, and that's unfortunate. That's probably going to put him really out of contention for improving his position. I don't know how many make it. I think all seven will make it, so we'll see all ten cars. But some more beating and banging. That was uh, Jerry DiPiero. Yeah, Kevin Irwin. You know, so, I'm surprised that Jay Hall is still able to go after coming into contact with uh, with Tim Cox there on that last corner when Tim, Tim Cox spun it into the hairpin. Yeah, it definitely has some damage there, but we're going to take a look back now. This was Tim Cox getting squarely into that. And really uh, hanging it out. He uh, gets a, Oh, he hits yeah, he the inside he the wall. <laughs> Yep, that's going to do it. So that uh, that's what caused that. Tim Cox just uh, 
touching the inside wall and it spins him right around so that is unfortunate but uh is that Justin Hall taking the Joker lap a little earlier than the rest? 10 lap uh, B main event here, so a little bit longer for the strategy to play out, but that's going to put him in front of Jerry DiPiero, who is beaten off the back bumper of Justin Hall there. That was uh, some tight racing. <laughs> we see Jimmy, uh, Kevin Irwin and Jerry DiPiero going side by side. Oh, they're going to go. Kevin just sent it in there, hoping to send Jerry DiPiero, but uh, they both stay on the track, but they're not done yet. They're gonna go side by side through the S section. They are uh, nose to tail. Make we see some uh, aggressive entry into this corner. Jerry sends it, pulls a little bit of a slide job on the asphalt portion. That's a uh, pretty impressive park it right in front of Kevin Irwin, seal him off from making a comeback move, but uh, Jerry DiPiero up into fifth now. Justin Hall and Jimmy Howitt a little bit sideways over the jump, and they're sending it in through the dirt section now. And we uh, have a couple battles. We got, it's like battles for one, two. We're pretty close. Three and four are close, and fifth and six are close, so. These, <laughs> oh man. Looks oh, like uh, I, I, Jerry DiPiero I, I, just uh, I, sent it in on Kevin Irwin. Less contact that time, Jesus. but. They're not done yet. Man, these guys need to, you know, bring my heart rate down and not be trying to kill each other every, every corner. And this is this is for fifth place. This is this is to determine who's going to start eighth and ninth in the feature event. So, uh, can't imagine the intensity going any lower for that, especially as we see battles for maybe the podium later on tonight. So if these guys are any indication of the action we might see, this is going to be a great race. Back up to the lead battle now. Bobby Ross and Randall McGrew side by side. Looks like Bobby's going to have a little bit of advantage, maybe a fender ahead. We'll see if either of them take the Joker. Yep, Bobby Ross pulls off and into the Joker lane. He's going to use that. So they were side by side heading into that. That's going to put him about 1.7, 1.5 seconds now in front of Randall McGrew. So that's your time delta that you're going to see by taking the Joker lap. So almost two seconds, depending on how cleanly you get through there and how cleanly the other guys get through on the outside. But uh, Jimmy Howitt and Justin Hall still going at it for third and fourth. Uh, just a real reset here. Justin Hall has taken the Joker. Bobby Ross in first has also taken the Joker and Jerry DiPiero. So still Joker laps need to be taken by Randall McGrew, Jimmy Howitt, Kevin Irwin. Ooh. But uh, yeah, Jimmy Howitt goes a little sideways there. Looks like it might have opened the door for a split second. Justin, ha Justin Hall not able to capitalize on that. But uh, they're going to still battle into this last corner. They really throw it in there. Try to get the car rotated. That's the trickiest part on uh, in that corner. Is you really got to get the car rotated. It's a lot longer of a corner than you think, but it's it's still you need to rotate it in there because these trucks are really set up to handle dirt. So handling the uh, asphalt portion. But Justin Hall goes a little wide there. That's gonna slow him down quite a bit. Like Jimmy Howitt's some breathing room. No, he, he, these guys are. Uh... Making that adjustment from road to dirt is, is something very uh, tricky to do, and these guys these guys are handling it very well. And, you know, especially on some of these corners where they're coming out a little bit sideways to um, uh, from dirt to asphalt and they hit on that kickback. They're doing they're doing a fairly decent job, and you can see that nice line coming in. So, you know, as Adam was saying, we were doing a quick little interview with them. You know, by the time the the main comes around, this will be like going from asphalt to asphalt. Yeah, the the track's going to develop as the night goes on, but nonetheless, these guys are still going to have transition from dirt to asphalt every lap a couple times here in the as you can see this dirt section in this in the second half of this tight hairpin. But uh, Bobby Ross still out in the front. He looks like he's pulling away from Randall McGrew, so. Looks like a good strategy call on his part to take the Joker early, kind of get some breathing room, get some clean track, and able to put in clean laps that just uh, Raina McGrew can't match. So he's really starting to pull away. Might 
put enough of a gap that Randall's not going to be able to get him when he has to take the Joker off. Two laps to go, so it's coming up. He's going to have to do it quick. Yeah, I mean, Randall's last lap was about seven tenths off uh, Bobby's last, last lap, so the, the, he's able to pull away, and I don't think that Joker lap's going to save Randall anymore. I, th I think he's going to have to start picking up the pace, or he's going to have to settle for second. Yeah, Bobby Ross starting to put some gap in between himself and Randall McGrew, so looks like uh, the front but, of this might not be uh, <laughs> might be coming to it. He's going to come to the white flag. Randall McGrew's going to hold off once again. He's going to take it on the final lap, hoping to make up quite a bit of distance. I don't know if it's going to be a, a surmountable distance <laughs> at this point for uh, Randall McGrew. But uh, Bobby Ross still leading. Kevin Irwin also in the back of the field has to take his uh, his joker lap. Now we're looking at Jimmy Howitt, Justin Hall. These guys, looks like they made a little contact over that jump. That's uh, that was going to upset Jimmy Howitt's car a little bit, but he hold, hangs on to it. A little sideways, a little all over the place. Oh, oh no, he hits the tire barrier coming out. Is that going to allow Justin Hall? They are still back, <laughs> banging doors. You know, They're I didn't not know we were careful. I didn't, Kevin Irwin's gonna sneak into this battle. Oh I no! I, I didn't know we were playing bumper cars. Yeah, these guys are uh, reenacting the county fair. It looks like that's gonna right? allow Kevin Irwin. Kevin Irwin's gonna have to take the Joker lap here. He's gonna get two for one, I think, if he can. Oh no, he's on the outside. He's gotta get to the inside. Oh, Justin. Oh no, Justin Hall was making not able to take the joker lap he'd already taken it that almost allowed jerry d pierre to come back from long way back and get close but he's gonna stay in sixth justin hall he was just uh going at it with everybody there <laughs> he was he you was know, having battles all over the track i i think i think that's that's the problem with racers being racers they don't want to give an inch you know, all, all of that could have been been uh, avoided with just some breaking. Yeah, these. Oh no, <laughs> we got cars going to the moon. Tim Cox finally rolling out there. <laughs> but uh, all right, we got a little bit of a warm up. They're going to run the track in a little more, and I wonder if we can get a replay of that last lap of that B main again. That was. It was uh, quite quite the battle it looks like we're not going to be able to pull that back up for you guys but uh that was kind of crazy i mean it looked like justin hall got to the inside of uh, kevin Irwin, and justin couldn't take the joker he'd already taken it and kevin had to take the joker so i think that was just a a matter of two guys on different lanes that needed to cross over each other <laughs> looked like uh caused a little bit of a disagreement and wound up looked like uh, well, Kevin Irwin got the worst end of that stick. Well, I mean, that that was like what I was saying, man. It, it's, you know, they're, they're not wanting to let, let anybody buy. And that, that whole thing would have been resolved if, you know, unfortunately, if he would have just hit the brakes. And it would not have been as nearly as bad as, uh, as that was. And... Yeah, a little, little patience goes a long way, especially yeah. in that situation. He, yeah, he would have snagged them both if he would have just braked. Yeah, he didn't need to go side by side with him. I think no. he, he, he might have he, he could have been behind him and he would have came out ahead. Yeah, I think it might have uh, threw him off a little bit to be that quick. I don't think he was expecting to be that close and have that, uh, have that track position on them. So, uh, and obviously, he probably didn't know the, the Joker lap. Uh, like where I all wonder, those stood, so. I wonder how Josh Clogg's gonna. T oh. I wonder how Josh Clogg's gonna take uh, into the, how the tracks evolve since his, he, since he was in he hasn't raced since he raced one. So. Yeah, the track's been changing this whole time, and he was the f he was the f basically the first one to uh, to get done with his heat races. So he uh, he's gonna have the most difference in track conditions between uh, his his heat race and now so you'll have to adjust but he's very quick and I think he'll be okay 
No, I think we're in for I think we're in for a good main. But uh, you know, I think the battle between oh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> we got three cars doing donuts in the pit lanes. That's no four, one, four, two, yeah, four, four. It's like Adam Thompson, Justin I Hall, see. Tim Cox, JKM. They're all out there. Bobby Ross trying to get in on there. He's uh, he's drifting around there too. They're just since burning we're in rubber the water polo. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> now they do a beautiful pirouette. Yeah, looking like they're just a splash yeah, of water out there. With all that yeah, that <laughs> having a little fun, relaxing, unwinding before they take on the feature. But you know, if the action we saw even in that warm up is anything to go by, uh, this main's going to be a little bit rough. So it's good Here's to see them out there having a good time and being able to, you know, let off some steam before the race. Yep, we'll get uh, into the grid here. Josh Clogg, Adam Thompson, and Jake Ham will actually make up the front row. Three wide start on this track layout. So they were the heat race winners. Bobby Ross rolling off fourth with his B main win. Random McGrew, Jimmy Howitt finishing up that second row. Justin Hall, Kevin Irwin, and Jerry DiPiero, seventh, eighth, and ninth. And Tim Cox rounding out the field, running, going off shotgun, uh, P10. So he'll have some work to do to make it up with the leaders but uh looks like everybody's now gridded up lights should come on any second there they are countdown has begun and lights are off and they're going and tim cox goes straight into the wall on the left that's unfortunate for him but the lead battle here jake him adam thompson josh clock three wide that's not gonna be how he exit the corner are we going to last week? Maybe. Here's uh, Josh Clogg. Looks like Bobby Ross going in there. He takes over third place. He was in there on Adam Thompson. But he's going to settle into third. Randall McGrew in fourth. He's going to get the better of Jake Cam. So Jake Cam, that outside front row starting position, not benefiting him at all. He's going to lose two, and he's going to follow Randall McGrew into that cutout on the concrete. That's going to hurt them. Oh, it looks like Jake Ham is smoking. I don't know if that's Jake or if that's Jerry D. Piero there. Looks like it's Jake though. That's that is unfortunate for him. He's gonna be struggling for the rest of the race. Yeah, and they just kind of both went off. Randall you know, McGrew, Jake Ham. Their uh, their races look like they're over early. Were, were they? Uh, were, were, was that a? Uh... I, I racing getting them back from doing donuts in the pit lane. <laughs> maybe, maybe even a little monkey see oh, monkey God. do. Adam Thompson going, going up again. on two wheels. He rolls it back in though, and he's uh, gonna have a challenge there from Bobby Ross in third, taking a tight line into that hairpin. We saw that bite. I think it was Tim Cox in the heat race, but Adam Thompson gets through there no problem. But he is missing a left rear fender, so uh, maybe some contact early on. Then. This uh, race is starting to get a little rough. A little bit of a three-car breakaway now. We got Josh Clogg. Now this is the battle for fourth? Fifth? <laughs> Jimmy Howard got up on two wheels. Kevin Irwin went wide. Tim Cox got loose. Well, Everybody was going Contact right in the back there with Tim Cox. You know, this is... Who we got going on here, man? This is just an this is an exciting race, keeping it close. You know that that front packs all within a second, a second and a half of each other. Besides, you know, Tim, uh, besides Josh Clogg, who's just you know doing what Josh Clogg does and taking it away and running with it. Yeah, these, these guys are moving. <laughs> Not the first time he's done that this season. You see, Kevin Irwin make a move on Tim Cox. There, he's going to get into the seventh position. This is the epitome of elbows out racing, I like to call it, where you just, you got to drive your truck with broad shoulders and elbows. Just don't be afraid to kind of hip check somebody if you have to. You, you <laughs> know, that's actually a, it's actually a very famous saying in all racing, you know, elbows out because, you know, when your elbows are out, you can block people away on your, your you know, you're making yourself wider. Yep, no. give them a, a sharp impact point and uh, yeah, uh, make, it, make yourself wide. Look at these lap times compared to what they were uh, 
compared to what they were uh, in the heats. You know, oh, all... contact there from Kevin Irwin and Tim Cox. They're, uh, they're you know, that... up and away, but that's going to cost them major time. That, that corner has gotten Tim every time, man. Yeah, we'll get a replay here. Jerry DiPierre just in front of them. Looks like Kevin Irwin looks to the right side. That's going to set him up on the inside. Oh, he... Did he do a crossover? Yeah, he looks like he was trying to do a crossover, and Tim Cox just got in there. They made contact. And no real damage, but that's going to hurt their times. It's uh, putting them behind the eight ball. They're about five seconds back of Jerry DiPierre now. You know, but, the... the the tracks, as I was saying before that happened, the tracks got about a second a lap faster than our heat races. Yeah, the track's really starting to develop and pick up speed. And now we see Adam Thompson taking the Joker. He's going to try to get out. He's going to be side by side with Josh Clogg. He's going to have the inside, though, as they head into the infield dirt section and up over the jump. Very close. I don't know if you'd want to risk being that close and making contact over the jump, but clean racing adam thompson gets a oh he, he, about, that curve. He, he about turned adam he about turned adam over and it it would have been a, it would have been game over for adam if that would have happened let's see how you see if adam i mean they're lapping re, i mean whew, they're, they're lapping really close to each other really really close to, as of right now adam holds the uh the fastest lap of the race with a 47.5 so let, yeah, let's see if they're... adam can take that pace up they're just going back and forth, trading quick laps and giving it everything they got. Adam really aggressive on those curbs. We'll see if he uh, gets back up onto two wheels. But uh, he almost, it would have been bad last lap. He got up on two wheels, started to save it, and then Josh Plug made some contact. So uh, we'll see what that looks like from Josh's point of view. Josh looks like he got more of the curb that time. Uh, both through their relatively clean though, so they're going to keep racing this is uh some good nose to tail racing now it, oh did he just clip that wall because he take that that turn kick uh that, that that turn hooked a whole lot harder than i was expecting on that onboard there yeah it might have been just he might have uh, clipped that curb and, or clip the wall and that dirt section would really get you if you're not expecting it so you did a good job to save that as we look at it again really close uh, yeah he just kind of neck coded it I yeah mean, maybe it, a little bit it was just enough to kind of help him round the corner yeah that <laughs> use that to help get the car to rotate i don't know if that's oh, oh man he almost goes up and over josh clock takes oh, almost too much of that curve but he uh, kept it on four wheels at least once he landed so uh he's really sticking right on Adam Thompson's bumper, so yeah, he's still he, going at it. You know, it, Adam needs to try to, to try to pick up some of that pace. He, he's, I mean, he, he, he's, I know he's giving it all he's got, but I mean, as soon as Josh Clogg takes that uh, Joker lane, it's, he could be holding it out. I mean, he, if I were Adam, I'd be trying to push it and try to gain every little tenth I could on every little corner. Yeah, he to, really needs to, to get to, ahead and and to build up a gap. gap. Yeah. Oh, it looks like he took more curb than we saw Josh Clogg take, but Josh is going to look and I think he's going to make the move. Yeah, Josh Clogg yeah. passes Adam Thompson. Josh still has to take the Joker, so he's out front and has a little bit of an advantage with that Joker strategy. So he's uh, he's looking really good now. And he's going to hopefully he's going to want to not let Adam back by. That's uh, that's for sure. I know uh, Adam, or yeah, Adam had the faster lap the last time around, by, but it was only by a couple tenths of a second. So let, let's see. Uh, we got four, five laps, five laps left to go. Yeah, Josh is going to run about a second and a half faster that lap. He made up the made up the gap to Adam and passed him. So yeah, not surprising to see Josh run a, a much faster I, lap there. I, I think Adam made a mistake in that uh, in that corner there, that that caused him to lose all that time because we, we see they're right on each other's bumpers right here. But... I think that's what's going to come down to is is mistakes and who can limit their mistakes and, and make a clean race. So yeah, they're uh, they're really going at it. And when you're when you're trying to run at the limit like that, you can 
find yourself in uh, deep water really quick. But uh, Bobby Ross now kind of creeping into the picture. He's about three seconds back. I don't know what his lap times have been, but uh, uh, he's not completely out of this. His last lap time was a 48.5, uh, uh, 48 <laughs> a 48.5.52. Where Adam's last lap was a four. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it was a forty-eight point five, and Josh's Cogs uh, last lap was a forty-eight point four. So he's catching up there. Yeah, yeah he, he's he's catching up. Yeah, the, he's gonna want to see them get racy again. But uh, it's like Josh Cloggs stretching out like a little bit of a gap on Adam Thompson. So. Uh, might not see that, but if any of these guys make a mistake, Bobby Ross will be right there to capitalize on it. So he's he's not completely out of this yet, that's for sure. It's uh now we're on lap twelve, about three laps to go. Let's see if these if Josh Clogg can hold on. He's still got the Joker in his pocket, so he uh, he's looking really good out here. Uh, like he's gonna be able to take this one pretty well. Might uh, look back and see what's going on with the the rest of the pack. We got Kevin Irwin, Tim Cox. Did they lap down. Huh? Timing tower was showing a little weird, but uh, yeah, we're looking at Jerry DiPiero. He's in sixth. He's got about a second, nearly two seconds out in front to Jimmy Howitt in fifth. Uh, these guys have fallen off a little bit. 15 seconds up the road to jo Justin Hall in fourth. So uh, Justin still doing okay. <laughs> a little bit of a rough B main, but he's going to capitalize on it and be up there in fourth. Maybe yeah. uh, getting the benefit of uh, Jake Ham and Raymond McGrew's uh, Rex on the first lap. But uh, that was Jerry DiPiero going to the Joker. He going to get the better of Jimmy Howitt. Jimmy Howitt still has the Joker to play, but two laps to go. He's going to have to do it in the next couple laps and hope to get back by Terry DiPiero. But uh, these guys are nose to tail as they come through the hairpin here. Jerry DiPiero takes a defensive line going really low and tight into that corner. It's going to not let Jimmy Howitt really get by. Leaders have taken the white flag, so now we're on the last lap. These guys coming through but uh looking up at josh clog now he's pulled out a second gap oh, on adam he, he thompson must have made a mistake because adam just closed down on him real quick but i wonder if he may have gotten slow got, maybe but josh clog's got that joker joker so i mean barring anything happen i would say that josh clog has this uh all but wrapped up yeah he's he's still out in front of adam thompson he's gonna take in he's gonna dip into the joker lane this lap Adam Thompson, not much he can do. Josh Clogg, nice and clean through there. He crosses the line, and he's going to take the win here tonight from Daytona. Jo Adam Thompson coming home in second. Bobby Ross in third. We look back to the battle for fifth. Jimmy Howitt, he took the Joker. That allowed him to get back by Jerry DiPiero. They're going to battle it out to the line. Uh, looks like Jerry's might have a bonsai move. No, they're going to keep it clean. <laughs> no, uh crazy moves out there to finish it off. But the Jimmy Howitt brings home fifth. Justin Hall was in fourth. We missed him across the line, but uh, Jerry DiPiero gonna bring it home fifth. Kevin Irwin across the line just there in sixth. And Tim Cox, or sorry, excuse me, Kevin Irwin in seventh. Tim Cox will bring it home in eighth with Jake Ham and Randall McGrew not able to reach the finish tonight. But uh, Adam Thompson kind of parks it there. He's gonna bring home second place. As we look at the actual results, and yep, Josh Clogg bringing it home two and a half seconds clear of Adam Thompson in second. Justin Hall rounding out your podium in third. Bobby Ross and Jimmy Howitt fourth and fifth. Jerry DiPiero in sixth, followed by Kevin Irwin and Tim Cox seventh and eighth. And as we mentioned, Jay Cam and Randall McGrew dealing with some early race issues that put them out. Jake got a couple more laps in before he decided to call it quits. So he's going to get credit for ninth there. So that is our finish order. And now we have our, we'll uh, 
get Bobby Ross there, our third place podium finisher, if you want to take that interview, Stephen. Hey, Bo hey Bobby. Uh, good race. Uh, how do you feel it went for you? I think um, overall it was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, I wish I didn't get that penalty at the end. Um, but otherwise, uh, oh, still a lot of fun, uh, especially racing with uh, Randall McGrew in the B main. I think that was uh, probably one of the best races I had with these uh, Pro 2 trucks. Of course, good sh uh, shout out to Josh Clogg and Adam for finishing first and second. Uh, Adam's probably closing in a little bit more on me on the championship. So it's going to come down to the wire, I think, for P2 in the championship. So what, what, what was your plan going on through this... Uh... Coming into this, did you put in some practice, or are you know, talk me through your prep for this? Uh, just um, you know, obviously practice is key, especially with that Joker lap, because I think uh, maybe a few people got a penalty either on the entry of the Joker lap or the exit, because it's real strict. But um, with regards to um, the race itself, I think the best thing to prepare for was that start, because I think that's where most of the majority of the incidents were going to happen. So, uh, how big is that penalty coming out the uh, the Joker? It is 10 seconds, at least if you mess up on the exit. I don't know, I bet you, I think it's the same thing as if you do um, the entry, if you mess up on that. Uh, a 10 second slowdown? Not 10 second slowdown, it's just 10 seconds added to your time because you can't, uh, re you can't join the pits to take the penalty. Wow, that's a, that, that's a hefty penalty for that. Um, so with all that, Debbie, do you, do you have any shout outs you want to give? Oh, of course, uh, my mom and my brother for watching my races as always. Uh, of course, J Cam for helping me out one way or the other. And of course, Adam Thompson for running XSLR, um, Rice of Racing wow. for letting me represent them on the, for this team, represent their team while I race on here. And of course, slow motion broadcasting for always doing superb, uh, commentary. Good. Well, we, we hope to see you back in here in, a, uh, in next week. For sure. Take care. Take care. All right. We're going to go ahead and bring in second place of uh, Adam Thompson. Yeah, we got second place Adam Thompson here following up his win last week with a solid finish here. How was that uh, main event race for you? Well, um, I'm sweaty I'm and I'm scared. Uh, very scared. It was... Uh, an absolute blast the most fun i think i've had uh in this league uh so far uh with all of the races it was a great race i've got tim trying to get me flipped back over freaking british people am i right uh but no it was uh it was an absolute blast yeah it looked like you were having fun out there and really quick too did you uh think you had anything for josh clark you know i josh is uh 5.6k i rating this is what he does uh this is all he does um so it was kind of a nip and tuck there i went for the joker lap early uh just to try to get ahead of him and see if i could race him maybe get close enough or make him race me jeez to make him make a mistake uh but he obviously didn't and um yeah the rest is history i got close i think i was on pace i really do i just um yeah i don't think i've really I was just too inconsistent. Yeah, so uh, some strategy play there didn't quite work out, but uh, still bringing home a solid uh, second place. So congratulations. I mean, you say you were that. on pace, but I mean, you held the fastest lap of the race. Yeah, it was inconsistency, honestly. That's that's all it was. Uh, on pace, faster than, but too many times slower than. Mm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one thing that'll get you. So uh, congrats on the second place. Anybody you want to shout out here? <laughs> Yeah, I want to shout out Steven and Steven's uh, child, who I can hear there in the background. Thank you, Steven, for doing this. I know you're sick, man, so uh, thanks for powering through. Jonathan, as always, for, for doing all the things that he does, uh, staying up late on a Sunday evening to see a bunch of junks drive around virtual racetracks. And then you, Daniel, as well, for, for stepping up and everything you've done um, lately uh, with all of the changes and commentators and stuff, stepping up great addition to the team i've got three three great people here on the smv team so thank you guys so much also want to shout out my wife as always sarah for allowing me to put up with this as she turns the tv up higher and higher as i start talking louder and louder 
Um, and then also everybody in the league, uh, Jimmy with Dead Daddy Motorsports for, for sponsoring it, um, Tim Cox for all of the stuff he's done uh, as an admin. Jerry and Jimmy are both admins as well, guys. So thank you so much. Um, other than that, guys, we're on to Charlotte. Yeah, thanks, thanks for those kind words. And yeah, good luck on the, the rest of the season. But uh, I guess you're probably going to stick in here and give uh, give your best Josh Clog impression now as uh, you mimic the, the winner that took the uh, the checkered flag first tonight. Well, hang on, so, guys. Uh, hang on. You've got to you've got to drag Josh Clog in. All right, all right. We'll all right. We'll give him a second to prep, and here he is now. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right, Josh Clog. Uh, first place another win on this season uh how'd you do it well i mean uh, after last week and i just got beat so badly by adam when i when i said he was the fastest there is and the fastest there ever will be i just wanted to make sure that he knew that there's a new sheriff in town and his name is josh clock and uh just wanted to get my uh put my badge back on you know really really wanted to give it to adam just to let him know who the true t true king of the dirt ovals are well i mean not dirt ovals because i suck at those but i mean the the dirt road at least i i just wanted to show everybody how it's really done yeah well uh congrats and kind of swept it took the the heat race win and the feature win so uh Congrats on, on winning and extending your point lead there over uh, Adam Thompson and the rest of your competitors. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. I, uh, you know, I just, uh, I wake up in the morning and I pee excellence and uh, it's just, it's going to continue to be like that. But I'm not going to lie. Adam's, Adam's pretty scary. And I think, uh, I think he might have something for me these next couple races. Sounds good. Well, uh, congrats again. And we'll see you back in the booth sometime. All right, thanks, guys, for all the hard work you guys do. All right, that was uh, Josh Clogg as portrayed by Adam Thompson. So, uh, well, <laughs> I'll throw it over to Steven. Do, Any do you, uh, closing thoughts? Do, do, do you think Josh gives him a script to read from? Oh, you know, no, when, 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 they're, when they're in there talking, like, hey, I want you to say this. I think they have a telepathic connection. I think Josh just <laughs> beams the words into Adam's brain. So, Oh, oh but... what's, what's that? What's that? Uh, the puppet uh, ventriloquism. Yes, yeah, do you think that's what happens? Yeah, some, something you know, like that. So uh, <laughs> after the beating that uh, that that Josh gave him, that he he, he could just talk, speak speak through him now. Yeah, so, something like that. So uh, we'll uh, try to walk you through some of the upcoming broadcasts you're going to catch on XSLR or on. So, uh, on Tuesday Slow we have D D WSLR at Sebring. Don't watch it. Actually, I'm kidding. Just watch it because that one's actually going to be a really good race. You know, we I don't know if we uh, ca captured my blunder at hung uh, the hunger ring last weekend, but that's not going to happen. Oh, we, we saw it. A lot. We saw it uh, crystal clear there. So, <laughs> oh, you know, I stand by it. I stand by my decision there. So then on Thursday we have Spec Fives, which they were a blast. And also, do we not have AMR this week? Uh, we do. I believe that is also on Tuesday nights. That's going to be the Mustang FR 500s at Snetterdam at 9 p.m. 9 yes. p.m. Yeah, see, I just didn't see it on our upcoming schedule. Then, of course, next Sunday we have XSLR at Charlotte. Yep. So that will that's our upcoming broadcast. Hope you tune back in to slow motion broadcasting. But uh, for Stephen Finch and Jonathan Grabowski in the production booth, I've been Daniel Hall and we'll see you in the next one. So Patrick... <laughs>
<laughs> do we do we describe this for everybody, Rob? What? Him. You what? describe it. You describe it. What? I do enough talking. Whatever. What? I think any car's dead in iRacing. I think it's gone. Oh, it's definitely. I, I agree. It's not going to survive. Probably. I still think we'll find opportunities to race it, just not as fruitful as before. Some of your like some of them just want to like make. <laughs> what's the thing? Like that guy wanted to make like dolls out of Tyler's hair, but then there's just other guys who what are just the like. Fuck? He did. He did. He did. He would say weird things to Tyler, man. Like he was a strange guy. And then like other guys would just show up and nobody's like, oh, oh we it. never met you. Sure, come race this 24 with us, and then you just jump in the car and wreck us out in a lap and be like, okay, never see you again. Yeah, He's that like, was okay. The... Well, better luck next year, I guess. That was the the guy from. Thank you.